Hello and welcome to Adam Sharp YouTube channel. One of the questions that people always ask me is that how do you display a web view in a Swift UI application? Well, the problem is that there is no web view in Swift UI, but there is something called a WK web view, which is part of the WebKit module, and you can make it available in your Swift UI application. Let's go ahead and see how we can do that. I'm going to go ahead and add a new file. And a Swift file is fine. And you can name your web view anything. I'm just going to name it web view. So we're going to use the power of UI view representable to make the web view or WK web view available in Swift UI. First thing, I'm going to go ahead and import Swift UI. I'm also going to say import WebKit. Actually, you might not need Swift UI in this case. We'll see. Struct web view, and it is going to be using UI view representable. Actually, now you have to import, go ahead and import Swift UI now, Swift UI. So UI view representable. Now UI view representable is a protocol, and there are a couple of different methods that you have to implement, basically two different functions that you must implement. And let's go ahead and change that to WebKit with a capital K. One of them is called the update UI view. The update UI view is fired when you actually have to update the UI view. And we're just gonna leave it blank. We are not going to implement anything over here. And the other function, which is the required function also, is called the make UI view. This is a very important function because make UI view is going to be returning you the actual view that you're going to be making. So what is the actual view that you're trying to make? Well, this is WK web view. So let's go ahead and also change the context to supply the simply say context over here, which is UI view representable of self. Great. Now what we have to do is we have to create a web view right inside the make UI view and we have to return it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with let guard URL equals to URL because in order to display some sort of a page you do need a URL. So self.url else, well in that case you can either return an empty web view or you can do something else. So web view and that's it. All right. Now, I'm returning an empty web view. Most probably, you can actually go ahead and create some sort of a demo page, like page not found or something that you can return. Another thing you will notice is that I don't really have any property name URL. So let's go ahead and change or create a property call URL. So in order for our web view to work, you will be passing the URL property. Great. Now we can go ahead and actually create a request so we're going to use request equals to URL request and passing in the URL, which we have hopefully already created. So let's go ahead and pass in the URL. And now we can go ahead and create WK web view. Let's call it web view, which is WK web view. Perfect. And now we can use WK web view dot load and load the request, which is we already have. And finally, let's go ahead and return WK web view. Let's go ahead and build our application to see that everything builds perfectly fine. And you'll see it works fine, great. Now in order to use our web view, we will go ahead and dive back into our content view. And instead of using a text view over here, let's go ahead and resume this first. There we go. Instead of using the text view, we can actually now start using our web view. One of the things that you need to pass in the web view, the one that we just created, is the URL. So let's say that if I have to pass in some sort of a URL over here, so let's say HTTPS www. Let's just say yahoo.com for now. All right. And let's go ahead and first build our application. 
Oops, it's actually failing for some reason. Let's go ahead and see what, why is it failing? All right, here we go. So update, this one we have to also update to say that we are actually passing the WK web view. Here we go, let's go ahead and build that again. Great, now let's go back, resume. And let's go ahead and preview it by clicking the play button. Hopefully it's going to go ahead and make a request to yahoo.com or whatever URL that you're going to put. And it's going to start, at least try to display it in our page. So let's see if the URL gets loaded. And there we go. You can actually see that this is loading perfectly fine. And you can see everything, you can scroll. So this is how you will display a web view by using UI view in, uh, by in Swift UI. That's great and it's simple. And the great thing is that you can actually go ahead and create these kind of connections, UI view representables for any of the controls that are available in maybe the UI kit and you want to get them over to a, the Swift UI and one of the other controls can be the map view control and also the activity indicator control and so on. So there are many different things you can do with UI view representable. If you want to support my videos then the best way would be to go on Udemy and check out my latest course which is about Swift UI. It's called Swift UI Declarative Interfaces for any Apple device. You can see it's a best-selling course to close to 1,700 students enroll with great rating also. You can see that this is also a 12.5 hours on on-demand videos. This is everything you need to learn about creating amazing applications using Surf UI. We're gonna start with building list and navigation, then we're gonna jump into state and binding, which is very, very important. I even cover MVVM design pattern and also implementing the coffee ordering application using a API that you're gonna build also. Later on, I also jump into core data, animations, and also Swift UI on all the devices, which includes iOS, watchOS, and even macOS. The best way to get this course is there are links in the description of the YouTube video. Please click on the link and get the best deal for the course. Udemy has a little bit changed the pricing models. So whatever the best price will be, you're gonna get that price using the referral links. So please, please, please use the referral links in the YouTube description. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And if you do have any questions, please let me know.